Now, just last week, uh, we received the news of Nelson Chamisa formally resigning from the Citizens Coalition for Change, quote unquote, saying he no longer has anything to do with the opposition political outfit. Mr. Beatty, are you still a member of the Citizens Coalition for Change? I'm a, I'm a proud member of the Citizens uh, Coalition for Change. Uh, I've read things in the in the newspaper. Uh, uh, but I'm a proud member of the Citizens for Coalition for Change, and I'm going Norway. What was your reaction to the resignation of, of Nelson Chamisa? Were you informed of it prior to the announcement? I've just read things in the, in the, in the newspapers, so I don't know what's happening. Mm. I don't know whether those letters are genuine or not. Uh, but speaking for myself, uh, I'm, I'm Tendai Biti, uh, the Vice President of the Citizens for Coalition for Change, and I'm going Norway. You say you are the vice president of the C, yet he says there are no f such positions in the organization. Maybe clear that up. I don't know whom you are referring to. All, no, I, know, all I know is that there was a congress in 2019 and uh, that congress has not been reversed uh, by any processes. So I am a, a leader in the C and a proud leader in the C. Uh, have you engaged Nelson Chamisa on what he says, uh, on, on the later way he says he is no longer a member of the Triple C? I haven't, as I said, I've just read things uh, in the newspaper. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, I've, 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 no one has formally communicated uh, to me, so I can't uh, comment about that which is hearsay. I'm a lawyer, mm. so I act on the basis of direct, uh, hard, uh, factum probendum. Uh, which is hard facts. So I, I don't know what has happened. I don't know what is happening. Uh, all I can do is to speak for myself. And speaking for myself, I am a member of the Citizens Coalition for Change. And finally, uh, Honorable BT, uh, reports of factionalism have been written time and time again in the Triple C. What are your words as we close to the supporters of the Triple C who are confused right now as to where and who they should follow? I think we should remember that. Uh, we should remember Morgan Changirai. What would he do now? What would he say now? And I know what he would say now. He would say, remain united. Uh, fight on. Aluta continua until we have a free Zimbabwe. That's what Morgan Changirai would say. And those are the words that I would give to the suffering masses of Zimbabwe. The struggle continues. Let's remain united. Let's move forward until we achieve democratic change in Zimbabwe. Now, following the release of former St. Mary's MP Job Sikala from prison yesterday evening, Viti says while he is happy with the release of his long-term counterpart, he is disappointed that not enough was done to facilitate his release earlier. PJ Nagoli gives us more. I was, I was uh, pleased that he is out, but uh, also very disappointed that he has spent uh, two years in jail for nothing extremely disappointed with the judgment that uh, convicted him. Uh, I think the judgment will not hold water and I think that an appeal court uh, will uh, set it aside. I'm also extremely disappointed that uh, those of us uh, who were left uh, behind uh, did not do enough mm. uh, to put pressure on the system to release him. Uh, I think there should have been demonstrations there should have been bigger voices, louder voices, uh, to demand his release. I can't imagine this kind of thing happening in South Africa yes. without citizens going on the streets. I can't imagine uh, this happening anywhere in the world uh, without uh, human rights defenders uh, going on the street. I was also disappointed uh, by the weaponization of uh, the law. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think that uh, the continuous a uh, denial of bail was justified at, at, at law. Uh, job scale is not an in, a threat uh, to the interest of uh, justice. Uh, now that he's out, I hope that uh, he can spend some time with his uh, family, uh, with his wife and, uh, and, 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 ch and children uh, 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 as he reflects uh, on his next course of action. Uh, as a leader and as a citizen of uh, Zimbabwe. Do you talk of not doing enough as, as, as leaders of uh, our alternative leadership? Why do you not do enough? Well, it's every citizen. It's, it's, it's just not leaders. It's every uh, citizen. I think, uh, I think that uh, perhaps we, we, we failed to organize as leaders. Uh, perhaps uh, 
Uh, there's so much fear in our in our society. Uh, yeah, there's so much uh, cowering uh, against the, the citizen. Uh, there, there could be many reasons, mm. but the bottom line is that uh, citizens we let job scanner down, we let Jacob Ngaro from uh, down, uh, we've let down uh, uh, you know thousands of uh, political prisoners uh, that are in the system. Now, you have worked with Job Sikala for years and years in opposition politics. There has been a lot of chaos uh, in, in our opposition politics, particularly with the Citizens Coalition for Change. A lot has been happening there. What does the future hold for opposition politics in this moment right now, given that Job Sikala is out? Look, you, you must unpack what is opposition politics. Mm. Uh, what is opposition politics? are the millions of Zimbabweans uh, who are desperate for change. Uh, the 95% of the population who do not have uh, jobs, uh, the 4 million people uh, who have left for the diaspora, uh, many who are struggling in South Africa, mm. many who are doing care work uh, in the United Kingdom and many other places. Uh, uh, those are the people who are desperate uh, for change. These people want to see transformation in Zimbabwe. Mm. Of course, there's been a turbulence uh, in the formal opposition. Yes. Uh, uh, that, that happens. You know, that's normal. Uh, that, that's normal. Contradictions are uh, okay. Uh, you know, but uh, what is important is that people must uh, take uh, stock uh, must uh, do scenario planning, mm. uh, must understand uh, where the source of turbulence is coming from. Uh, I would like to submit that uh, ZANU-PF is at the center of the turbulence uh, that has uh, happened, at the center of the recalls uh, that have crippled uh, uh, you know, you know, parliament. Mm. But that's not, nothing new. That we've been living with that uh, for many years.